common people, and I think it is uh, quite fit the, uh, the kind of meeting, high level, which we have in mind, and of course the, uh, the kind of words which you will dedicate to us, and especially to the, the cause. Which was that you stand up to be seen, you speak up to be heard, and you shut up to be appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> I am extremely pleased to be here on behalf of the Vienna NGO Committee on Narcotic Drugs to thank uh, the Prevention, support to the Mentor Foundation, of course, and to lending her name in highlighting the work of Beyond 2008, of uh, which many people in this room uh, were, were architects, contributors, collaborators, and helped us realize this, the success that, that Beyond 2008. Excellencies, distinguished participants. I'm very happy to be here. And um, it's a very special, special day because it's lovely to meet all the fighters. And you are all fighters, all of you, to fight the drug issue. I'm aware that the Vienna NGO Committee and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime have been increasingly working together. It's balanced by taking notice of people's reality. I do commend the good and important work the committee is undertaking. And I would like to thank those who have given so much time and commitment in making this happen, particularly Mark Penn and uh, David Turner and the secretary that support them. And of course, Ede Kalin from Mentor in his role as vice chair of the committee. I'm very grateful for all the work you undertake and the leadership you provide and sincerely hope both two sides of it. On uh, one way, you see the people who are committed and they are working with these problems and on the other side, you <coughs> see the victims. And uh, which of course, I mean, you all know it's uh, a horrible thing to, to observe how young people are affected by this. And, uh, and I even think it's, when I talk to our children, our own children, um, I said, how is it outside <coughs> when you are out in the club with your friends? And then they say, well, it's drugs everywhere. And uh, I say, what do you do then? And this, uh, I think, I was very shocked to hear from their friends as well that, oh, we have to respect them. It's their own will. We can't interfere. We can't do uh, anything. They are taking drugs because they want to, so we have it's their decision. We have to respect them. You want to save your friend when it's too late? You should help them now when you see it. And uh, this is an uh, attitude which I think it's, it's different from 20 years ago. Uh, now it's uh, in some and there, I think it's an uh, issue where we all have to stick together to reach hands and to, to mm -hmm. help those youngsters. Thank you for what you're doing. I'm happy to meet you.
was very positive and uh, very important for the uh, And it is my pleasure to welcome you to this meeting here on the NGO contributions to the High Levels segment of the Commission on the I'm happy to host you today, and I strongly believe in the importance of the NGO's respective partners, the government and international agencies, such as they have so much to offer from their experience at the ground level of people's reality and needs, combined with significant expertise and real commitment. I know this from my own involvement with the NGO sector, and of course I'm aware and proud to know that Mentor International, Mentor UK, and Mentor Arabia and from many scientific experts have been able to make this significant contribution as This is a vital aim of the NGO Voice to the Commission on Narcotic Drugs for the Beyond 2008 Initiative. I thank UN OBC for their support in ensuring that the Vienna NGO Committee has been allowed to operate and that they have encouraged collaboration and helped to encourage the Beyond 2008 initiative. <coughs> I would like to thank the donor governments who have given the extent of financial backing to the work of the Vienna NGO Committee. Of course, I would like to thank the many NGOs from around the world who have participated in making the voice of the civil society sector strong and meaningful. I congratulate you on the work you have often in difficult circumstances. The front issue in the years I have. Finally, I would like to mention a few people who have made all this possible. Barbara Wallsberger, Bob Ancola, Ian Danny, and her team. Last but not least, special thanks to Lady Carmine. And Michael Perron, who have provided the leadership for the NGOs in ensuring we have a strong consensus voice from the NGOs, to which we hope the Commission will give serious consideration. Thank you and good luck in all of your endeavors. And I follow you and I will read about you and I will learn from you. Thank you. consultations covering nine regions of the world. There have been 600 responses to the questionnaires that were sent out as part of the Beyond 2008. And the responses have come from NGOs with a membership representing over 10 million people. A consensus was reached last July at the Global NGO Forum, despite enormous differences of background or perspective among NGOs. This was a very impressive achievement. Um, it has been much appreciated and much talked about in circles that matter. I value the shared principles and perspectives that were contained in the Beyond 2008 declaration and resolutions. I share them entirely, personally. I know that some of you were under the impression that the outcome, this outcome, was not sufficient. will address some of those important issues of where the gaps still are, will still have room to work. So Michelle, I will talk to you. Thank you. Uh, Your Majesty, Mr. Chawla, friends, colleagues, uh, what an honor it is to be here today and to provide you uh, a bit of an update on, on how we see where Beyond 2008 has come from, where it might be and reside in relation to the um, allow me to thank you, if I might, uh, Your Majesty, for your remarks in the uh, opening ceremony and underscore what uh, David stated. Uh, you brought very clear attention to the work of NGOs generally, to the very good work of the Mentor Foundation and has to be acknowledged and I can thank Jeff Lee and Eric Carlin for their work, your work. Um, and the first lesson made, of course, that's not a little bit self-congratulatory, but uh, very pleased that this is actually because 
I think for sure everybody in this room had a they had that good world in 2008. And uh, we all, I think, smiled quite nicely when we heard your remarks and, and saw the reaction of, of the room. So thank you for that. What exactly are we dealing with here? Uh, Ten hours later, they came back with this language uh, where we talked about, in our resolution, illicit slot charging uh, And I think it's important to note that we talked about illicit drug use as used contrary to the convention, first and foremost. And therefore, that the NGOs understand and accept that, that this is something that we're working for. And in other words, we do not want people to use drugs as described in the conventions. That harmful drug use is a use uh, that causes harm to individuals, families, and communities. There are different effects to that use. And that where together uh, there is action necessary and not limited to prevention or, or other fields you see. But we want to be excruciatingly specific simply for the South Southern Africa. I think what beyond 2008 did was that uh, from the views we had from the NGOs that you recognize NGOs for the first time. 